Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. On our previous videos, we discussed the first two examples of non-Mendelian genetics which are incomplete dominance and sex-linked traits. For today's lesson, we will discuss the first common example of multiple alleles which is the ABO blood typing. At the end of this video, viewers are expected to use the Punnett square to solve for non-Mendelian inheritance. To start this lesson, let's define first multiple alleles. Multiple alleles is when there are more than two alleles for a gene present in a population. Example is our blood type. Blood type consists of two dominant and one recessive allele options, wherein both allele A and B are dominant over allele O. ABO blood group system, the classification of human blood based on the inherited properties of red blood cells or erythrocytes, as determined by the presence or absence of the antigens A and B, which are carried on the surface of the red blood cells. Persons may the subtype A, type B, type O, or type AB blood. Check the table to see all the possible genotypes for each blood type. Blood type A and B can be homozygous or heterozygous for allele A and allele B, while presence of both allele A and B will give a blood type AB. Since A and B are both dominant allele, it follows the concept of codominance. Both allele will be expressed as the phenotype. Lastly, blood type O will only be expressed if there is an absence of a dominant allele. To summarize, a description of the pair of alleles in our DNA is called the genotype. Since there are three different alleles, there are a total of six different genotypes at the human ABO genetic locus. The different possible genotypes are AA, AO, BB, BO, AB, and OO. People with type A blood have the antigen A on the surface of their red blood cells, while people with type B blood have the B antigen. Individuals with type AB blood have both A and B antigens, whereas people with type O blood have no antigens present. Take note that there is no such thing as antigen O. Antigens are molecules capable of stimulating an immune response. Each antigen has distinct surface features or epitopes resulting in specific responses. Antibodies or immunoglobulins are Y-shaped proteins produced by B cells of the immune system in response to exposure to antigens. The immune system forms antibodies against whichever ABO blood group antigens are not found on the individual's red blood cells. Thus, a group A individual will have anti-B antibodies and group B individual will have anti-A antibodies in their blood plasma. Agglutination is a reaction in which particles, either it's an RBC or bacteria, suspended in a liquid collect into clumps and which occurs at a serologic response to a specific antibody. The test to determine your blood group is called ABO typing. Your blood sample is mixed with antibodies against type A and B blood. Then, the sample is checked to see whether or not the blood cells stick together. If blood cells stick together or agglutinate, it means that the blood reacted with one of the antibodies. The most common blood type is O, followed closely by type A. If you have type O blood, you can only get type O red blood cell transfusions, but you can give your red blood cells to people with type A, B, AB, or O blood, which is why you are sometimes called a universal donor. And if you are type AB, you are called universal recipient, since you can receive all the types of blood. The rhesus factor is an important characteristic of blood cells. It indicates whether the blood or two different people is compatible when mixed, such as the blood of the mother and her baby at birth. If they have different blood group characteristics, it may cause problems. During pregnancy, 
RH antibodies made in a woman's body can cross the placenta and attack the RH factor on fetal blood cells. This can cause a serious type of anemia in the fetus, in which red blood cells are destroyed faster than the body can replace them. Normally, being RH negative has no risk, but during pregnancy, being RH negative can be a problem if your baby is RH positive. If your blood and your baby's blood mix, your body will start to make antibodies that can damage your baby's red blood cells. This could cause your baby to develop anemia and other problems. Let's try to understand each problem about ABO blood typing using the Punnett square. Show the cross between a mother who is heterozygous for type B blood and a father who is heterozygous for type A blood. The following could be the possible blood type of their offspring. It can be blood type AB, B, A, and O. Both genotypic and phenotypic ratio will be 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. Show the cross between a mother who is blood type O and a father who is blood type AB. The following could be the possible blood type of their offspring. It can be blood type A, another blood type A, blood type B, and another blood type B. Because of that, the genotypic and phenotypic ratio of this cross will be both 1 is to 1. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to be updated for more science educational videos.